Hey, what is up guys? This is Assam back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to use more transitions flower in your Kiwi app. Okay, this is the flower that I'm going to use today and I'm going to show you how to use this flower. So before use the using the flower, you must install the flower. So for that you must in, uh, first of all you have to install Kiwi Garden. Okay, so installing Kiwi Garden just simply do it. Pip install kv garden okay i already installed it so the requirements are already satisfied okay now i i have to install the more transition flower okay so just simply do it okay garden install more transitions okay okay we can see the package is already installed in my device okay now I'm going to show you how to use how to use that flower okay so for that I'm going to create a bash app from kvmd.app import md app okay after that i'm going to import the screen manager okay the screen manager is available in kv.uix dot screen manager okay after that i'm going to import the builder module okay so from kv dot lang import builder okay now uh, I'm going to import okay if we look at our browser we can see uh, if you want to if you want to import the transitions that you just installed uh, then you have to do this command okay now I'm going to import this uh, in my KV language okay so for that I'm not going to do uh, I'm not going to import this in my Python file now I'm going to create a class this class is going to be let's say transition demo okay and then uh, this class is going to inherit from a screen manager class okay now I'm going to pass this class and then I'm going to create our main class okay and this class is going to inherit from MDF class okay then i'm going to add the build function where i'm going to build all kinds of wizards and functions okay now here i'm going to load our transitions.kb a uh, white trans.kb okay this is the kb file okay let me zoom in so that the text should be more visible and clear to understand okay so here I'm going to load a file. The file name is yttrans.kv. Okay. Now I'm going to return our transition demo function. Okay. Sorry, transition demo class. And then I'm going to run my main class by this run method. Okay here i'm going to load this class in a angular bracket or something like that after that i'm going to add a screen because the screen manager uh, screen manager doesn't support other widgets except screen okay now i'm going to name this screen as screen one and then I'm going to copy this and paste it couple of time okay now we have three screen and then I'm going to change the name of those screens okay now I'm going to add a level and then let me set some text this is an example text of 
f k v f okay then i'm going to center this okay then i'm going to copy this level and paste it here and here okay now okay we can see i need to close this okay now let me add buttons okay here i'm going to add a button let's say md flat button and then i'm going to uh, set the text let's say navigate to navigate to screen two okay and then i'm going to set the position position the center of x axis will be let's say 0.5 and then the center of y axis will be let's say 0.3 okay then let me copy this okay and i'm going to paste it everywhere and then in navigate to screen 2 here i'm going to change it okay and here it will be screen 3 now let me run this and let's see what is the progress okay we add a button and this is an example of uh, example text of a kv app okay here is a button uh, the screen is not uh, changing because i didn't add any kind of functions so here i'm going to add functions so there is uh, two way to do this one is in this python file one is in this kv file so first of all i'm going to show you how to do this in kv file okay so you must import the transitions from kv app okay okay now okay now i'm going to import first of all let's see some transitions here pixel transitions ripple transitions blur transitions and rpb transitions okay now first of all i'm going to import the ripple transition ripple okay before import uh, i must call the import keyword uh, i must call the import keyword and then the ripple transition then i must set the location where the transition is available okay so the location is kv dot garden dot the flowers name more transitions uh, let me check the spelling okay then ripple transition okay then i'm going to copy this piece of code and paste it here okay and then i'm going to change the transition name here and here i'm going to import the pixel transition and i'm going to change the name after that let's see what are the transitions available pixel transitions ripple transitions blur transitions and rpb transitions okay blur transition and the last one is r vb let me check it our baby transition okay
okay now i'm going to use these transitions okay in my screen so uh, here i'm going to add uh, on release method so first of all the transition is going to happen and the after that the screen is the screen should navigate to the next screen okay now <coughs> root dot transition okay root dot, root dot transition will be ripple transition and if you want to add duration you can add here i'm going to add 1.1 oh, one second uh, duration and then if you want to set a color then you must edit here okay root dot transition dot clear color okay the color will will be let's say the kvmd app is going to use the white background so i'm going to use the white color after that okay i must add a semicolon here okay now the screen should be navigate to the next screen okay root dot current equal then i'm going to set screen 2 okay now i'm going to copy this piece of code and paste it to the other buttons okay here i'm going to change the transitions okay here i'm going to use the rvb transition then here the ripple transition okay and the other one is blur transition okay i must add a, add another screen okay let's see if it is uh, let's see how is the progress okay okay this is an example text of a kv app okay if i if i press this button we can see an effect is just okay now we go to screen 3 the next screen appeared and uh, if i press this nothing happens okay let's see okay we didn't change it here okay the screen will be screen 3 and the next is going to be screen 1 i need to do that okay now let me run my program and if i run this okay the transition works and okay the transition works but it didn't show correctly okay uh, or we didn't notice it and if i press it okay we can see another screen okay here let me set the blur transition if i press the press this button and okay the blur transitions okay let me set the duration let me increase it so that it should be more visible okay okay the effect uh, just held for two seconds okay guys i think this e i think this is enough for using the flower so keep watching and in my next video i am going to show you another flower uh, how you can use in your kv app so guys keep watching goodbye